Recent research led by physicist Ngo Phuc Duc Lok has introduced a novel concept called the quantum memory burden effect. This discovery suggests that primordial black holes, PBHs, could provide the missing link in understanding dark matter, with gravitational waves serving as the evidence to support this groundbreaking hypothesis. In this video, we'll dive into how this theory works, why it's so significant, and what it means for our understanding of the cosmos. Primordial black holes, or PBHs, are not your typical black holes formed from collapsing stars. These theoretical entities are thought to have formed in the early universe, moments after the Big Bang, during periods of extreme density fluctuations. Unlike stellar black holes, which range from a few to a hundred solar masses, PBHs can span an extraordinary range of masses, from microscopic to supermassive. This diversity makes them a compelling candidate for explaining the nature of dark matter. Their potential as dark matter arises from their gravitational interactions. Dark matter, which constitutes about 27% of the universe, is invisible and interacts only through gravity. This makes PBHs a natural fit as they share these properties. Furthermore, these black holes could explain why dark matter remains undetected by Earth-based experiments. If dark matter exists as compact primordial black holes, their scarcity and distribution would make direct detection extremely challenging. The conditions for PBH formation are tied to high-density regions in the early universe. Mechanisms such as inflationary perturbations, fluctuations during the rapid expansion of the universe, and first-order phase transitions could have created these dense regions, causing matter to collapse into primordial black holes. This process provides a fascinating glimpse into the universe's infancy and the dynamic forces at play during its formation. Understanding these black holes also offers insights into large-scale cosmic phenomena. Their gravitational pull might have influenced galaxy formation and the distribution of matter across the universe. Moreover, their potential to generate gravitational waves during their formation or interactions adds another layer to their cosmological significance. These waves could serve as a detectable signature, pointing us toward the elusive PBHs and their role as dark matter. One of the most exciting aspects of this research is the quantum memory burden effect. Traditionally, black holes were thought to evaporate completely over time due to Hawking radiation, a process where particle-antiparticle -particle pairs near a black hole's event horizon lead to the emission of radiation. Smaller black holes, like primordial black holes, were believed to evaporate quickly, leaving behind no trace. However, the quantum memory burden effect changes this narrative. This effect suggests that after a black hole has lost half its initial mass, evaporation slows down significantly, stabilizing the black hole. The reason lies in how black holes store information. As they evaporate, the memory of the absorbed information becomes energetically favorable to retain, creating a quantum burden that halts further mass loss. This stabilization means that PBHs, even those with masses once thought too small to survive, could still exist today. The implications of this stabilization are profound. It opens up a previously unexplored mass window for PBHs that could still be present in the universe. This challenges earlier assumptions that only PBHs within a narrow mass range could constitute dark matter. Now, even smaller PBHs stabilized by the quantum memory burden, become viable candidates, dramatically expanding the possibilities for dark matter research. Moreover, the quantum memory burden effect redefines our understanding of black hole physics. It bridges the gap between quantum mechanics and general relativity, providing clues about how these two fundamental theories interact. If validated, this effect could revolutionize how we view black holes, not as transient cosmic objects, but as enduring entities with unique quantum properties. Finally, this effect has practical implications for detection. 
Stable PBHs might produce different observational signals compared to evaporating ones, influencing how we search for them. Gravitational wave detectors and other astronomical tools could be optimized to identify these stabilized PBHs, potentially confirming their role in dark matter. Gravitational waves, ripples in spacetime caused by massive objects, offer a promising avenue for detecting PBHs. Since their first detection in 2015, gravitational waves have provided unprecedented insights into black hole mergers, neutron star collisions, and more. For PBHs, these waves could serve as indirect evidence of their existence and their connection to dark matter. The formation of these black holes in the early universe would have been an incredibly energetic process, producing gravitational waves with unique signatures. These primordial gravitational waves differ from those generated by stellar black hole mergers, as their frequency and amplitude are tied to the conditions of the early universe. Detecting these waves would not only confirm the existence of PBHs, but also provide a window into the universe's first moments. Gravitational wave detectors, such as the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, the Big Bang Observer, and the Einstein Telescope, are poised to explore these signals. These advanced instruments can detect gravitational waves at lower frequencies, ideal for studying primordial black holes. For instance, the quantum memory burden effect predicts specific gravitational wave patterns associated with stabilized PBHs. If these patterns are observed, it would provide strong evidence supporting the theory. Beyond detecting PBHs, gravitational waves could reveal crucial information about the early universe's dynamics. The characteristics of these waves might offer insights into inflationary perturbations, phase transitions, and other processes that shape the cosmos. This makes gravitational wave astronomy not just a tool for detecting primordial black holes, but a key to unlocking the secrets of cosmic evolution. Detecting gravitational waves tied to PBHs would also validate the quantum memory burden effect. If PBHs are found in mass ranges previously thought impossible due to evaporation, it would confirm that this quantum effect stabilizes them. This would mark a major milestone in our understanding of black hole physics and quantum mechanics, bridging the gap between theoretical predictions and observable phenomena. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more updates on the universe's most intriguing mysteries.